At this point, we need to create a famous Jinx braids. For that, I'm going to drag this down so I have more space for creating a new collection. This way I'll try to keep everything clean. I press on this collection and add a new object, which is going to be plain. So shift A, mesh and plain. I'll press seven numpad to go into the top view or use this little icon, tap edit mode, and I'll add a one loop, control R loop, and select it in the middle. Right mouse click to release it and select these two lines, X, delete. Now we'll have two points. I'll select both of them and sub right mouse click and subdivide. I need to have nine vertices, so subdivide, subdivide, and we have nine. This is very small, so I'll press S and scale it five, but make sure you have from medium point and this one is off, so S scale five going to be bigger now and easier to see. What you have to do is select three on one side and then move them. So I'll press G to move, E on X, E, e U on U axis and press one to move it one segment up. And we have to do the same for this side. So G to move, E, E axis, and one. Now we have to put it on this opposite side. So what you do when you press one, you just press minus and it will change the side. So now I keep pressing the minus and you can see it switches the side. I'll enter and I'll select two of these ones, leave the middle one open and two of these ones. I'll press S to scale and Y on Y axis. I'll scale them a bit down and we have something like this way. I'll go into the side view and what we have to do is now one from the first one, we select the second one and from the middle one, we select the second one. Now we have to move it up or down it doesn't really matter i'll move this one's up so g to move z on z axis and one on the top now we have to do the ones that are left or counting from the side so from the last one this one and from the last one this one now we have to do g to move again z one and this time minus to get something like this. And this is how we're going to create our braids. We'll have to be adding a ray modifier and loading in the value. We'll need three segments. That's right, loading quite a lot. We'll be using the merge button, don't forget this one. And it's quite hard to see at the moment. So what we have to do is add, we have to add a skin modifier. Don't forget to choose the smooth shading from skin modifier. And it looks extremely blocky. So we definitely need to add a subdivision. So surface modifier, I'll press like two times and it looks very too, it looks too slim. So what I'll do is select everything with a shortcut A. We can go into vertice mode to see if everything is selected. Okay. And now we can use shortcut, which is control A or go to mesh, transform and skin resize. You can see control A. And now just drag the mouse up and down. 
we get something like this. Looks pretty good. And we have to add a last array modifier. Let's scroll down to it. And we just have to lower this value till it connects. All of the three, three points connect. And now we can increase on how many segments we want. But as you can see, we have some weird errors. So what I usually do is scale a bit down the whole mesh, just scaling it down, nothing complicated. You can scale it on e X axis on E axis to make it the way you want. And I can see that this part is not connecting. So what I will do is just turn off a skin modifier for a moment. And we have to change the value where this one, this open one, would connect to this one. It's on a this option, the last one we added. We can try adding up. It moves way too more, way too much. And let's just try adding a number. Doesn't add up. And see, like it works now. Don't forget to turn on the merge option and we can turn back our skin modifier. We have to move it, array modifier a bit higher. So the first one, array will be the second one and skin and subdivision. Now we have something that looks this way. If you want, you can make it slimmer on one side. Let's say it's too big on the Z axis. So I'll just select our curve, our mesh, S to scale, and just scale it on the axis. Now it will influence and not really change the thickness. Keep that in mind. Let's add quite a few on the length. We can unhide now our head. And if you go out in the object mode, you're free to move oh, that's position to where we want it to be. And I'll go back into edit mode because I think it's too big. I'll scale it a bit down. And when you scale down, the skin modifier doesn't really scale down. So we will have to use Ctrl A again or go into mesh, transform and skin resize. Let's resize it to be a bit slimmer. And you can add as many segments as you really need. Now, the whole body would probably be as long as this, but in case of this tutorial, we don't really need that much. So let's not add too many. Okay. When we have this one done, what you will have to do is apply this. So sometimes when I'm not really sure if I will keep this one, I'll just create a duplicate object. So let's name this one brain, braid, and you can call it me. And just shift D and rename the one to copy. On the copy one, I'll just don't forget to hide the main one. And on the copy one, I'll just apply everything. Don't forget to apply from the top. The first one on top has to be applied, moving down. And we will have something like this. I'll press Ctrl A to reset all transforms. And now our mirror modifier will be working correctly. If you did not use Ctrl A, if you apply mirror modifier, you see what happens. It goes not on the way where you want. And this doesn't really fix. So we have to use Ctrl A, transform. 
and now everything works perfectly.